Hey guys, it's Kimberly and today is a very fun video reviewing a collection from Morphe and this is the Maddie Ziegler collection which is really interesting. I didn't hear about it until after it launched. Um, I believe it launched a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago tops, but um, if you don't know who Maddie Ziegler is, she is on a show called, or was on a show called Dance Moms. And I never watched that show. I think it started in like 2011 maybe is when the show started or 2012, something like that. And it went for a long time, like eight seasons, I want to say. So it was like quite the show and it was very drama, like housewives kind of a thing. Lots of mom drama, lots of craziness. It's about a dance studio and she is like the main girl on there. She got tons of jobs from that show. She was very, very successful. And I never watched that show until about three weeks ago, which is so weird. And it wasn't because of this launch. My sister started watching it and I saw a couple of episodes and she was watching it and I couldn't take my eyes off the TV. The drama sucked me in. <laughs> so I was like, addicted and I've just been watching the show like whatever and then I randomly saw an ad for this collection on Instagram and I was like wow that girl looks familiar and and then it said Maddie Ziegler and I realized that that's who I'm watching on Dance Moms and it's weird how outdated that show is but like she just had something going on relevant in the makeup world and I'm just happy to be watching the show at this time so I thought that was weird but it made me like want to get it so i'm very excited i didn't get the full collection but i got a few items here i got a palette i got the do face gloss stick what is it called the i do face gloss stick and i got one of the lip and cheek duos um i believe there were three of these so i only picked one of the colors and yeah that's pretty much so i got one of every kind of thing i just didn't get all the colorways so that's pretty exciting and yeah i have most of my face done right now just not obviously the things that i'm going to show to you today and yeah we're just gonna dip in see how i like it and give a little review of these items so we'll start with the palette the palette came in this unicorn right here which is super like trippy and fun it's very like kaleidoscope-esque um and it just says Maddie Ziegler, the Imagination Palette. This palette retailed for $25. And the back is super cute. It has a little picture of her. And yeah, it just has like a little thing. It says, hey Morphe babe, I've always loved playing with makeup. And this palette is everything I imagined and more. I'm so excited to see the endless looks you create. So super cute. And the palette is adorable. This is the palette right here. So it has the same kind of artwork. That's the back, nice and plain. And it's one of those like magnetic cardboard kind of closures, a nice big mirror, and look at those colors. The shades are so pretty, so fun. It's very like bright pastel-esque um, with a lot of neutrals. The whole top two rows neutral, the bottom row is pretty dark, and then this row right here is like the pastel-y brights, which is so fun. And they've got some cute little indentations. I don't know if you're going to be able to see but there's like an eye pressed into this one, lips in this one, little diamonds, a butterfly. So it's super cute. And honestly, I love the color story. I feel like it doesn't really remind me or look like any other Morphe palettes. It looks very, I don't know, fun and different and inspiring. So I'm very much so digging the color story and I cannot wait to dig into it. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump in with just a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into this shade right here, which is like a baby pink, and it is called Maddie Girl. But let me zoom in. All right, and I'm just gonna take this shade all in the crease and just blend it out as a tr transition. Next, with the same brush, I'm gonna go into the color right below it, this one right here, and that is in the shade Crushed. And I'm going to put that also in the crease, but I'm just not going to try and take it up too high. That is such a pretty color. It reminds me of like a very muted pink lemonade kind of a color. Super pretty. Okay. 
just like that. And then I'm going to take a more dense brush and I'm going to take this purple shade right here called She Insists. And I am just going to dab this kind of on the outer corner of the lid and just really deepen up that outer corner with a fun pop of purple. I feel like that will be fun. So on the outer part of this and on the unicarton, you can see she does like a two-tone eye with blue and pink and purple kind of, well, I guess that's three tones, but it's like pink and blue and they like morph to purple in the center. And I just thought that the pink, purple, blue color story was so fun and it really inspired me. So I'm trying to go for a pink, purple, blue look, but a little different layout than what she has going on. So now that I have all those shades down on the eye, I think I'm gonna go in with my finger into this pink shade right here. And it is called Dancing Queen, which is so fitting. Yes, pretty. And I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid, but I'm gonna try and not overlap too much on the purple shadow, kind of keeping it on the inner half of the lid. So this shade is definitely not super pigmented, but it is pretty. I feel like it would do really well as a topper, or if you build it up, it definitely does get to full coverage, but you could use it sheer as a topper for sure. So that is really pretty there, but I think with that same dense brush, I'm just going to dip into this purple right here. It's like a blue purple and it's in the shade Posse. And I am just going to take just a little bit and deepen up the outer corner a little extra, try to make that purple really pop. That just gave me a ton of fallout. I don't know if you could see in the corner of my eye, but I definitely got some fallout from that, which stinks, but something to note. It is more of a shimmery shade, so a fluffy brush is not like, yeah, this is not sticking at all, okay. Wait, change the gears, give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna try and just take a little bit on my finger and see if I can be precise and dot it. Yeah, this is definitely not a shade you can pick up with a fluffy brush, but you most definitely can get it with your finger and it is very pretty. So I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner of my lid. And actually I really like this color, so I'm gonna build it up quite a bit. Okay, so now that I have the purple done, and that was kind of a little bit difficult to do, I'm gonna go back in with the pink just to blend the center and make sure that the purple is not too overbearing. Yeah. Okay, so I love the way that that is right now. And then for the fun part, to give a little pop of blue, I'm gonna go in with a smaller fluffy pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is the shade five. It is like this light blue. And I am just going to run that all along the lower lash line. That did nothing. Okay. So you really have to pack this shadow on. I mean, I'm not, now I'm not even tapping off the brush because when I tapped it off, like nothing happened. But now you can see clearly lots of payoff. Well, too much payoff. Yeah, so that is super fun. I love that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so now I have both eyes done. I put on some mascara and some lashes. These are the lashes in the style Deborah from D Star Lashes. My favorite lashes, of course and I feel like they complement the eyes really well with that shape, longer on the outer side, I just love that. And yeah, let's move on to the other products. Um, I, I got the Cheek and Lip Duo that came in this little packaging right here. This was, I believe, $18, and I got the one in the peach that pops. I think there was like a peach, a pink, and then like a darker like berry. There's a berry one. Um, I got the peach one. And it is a little cream cheek and lip mousse. 
So this is for your cheeks and your lips and then a lip gloss that matches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on both my cheeks and my lips. And yeah, let's just see. Okay, that is really scary. <laughs> That's super mushy. Like you get a lot on your finger at once, but it definitely does sheer out quite a bit. And it definitely feels like a mousse, but when you rub it in, it starts to feel like a powder. And you can see it stained my finger there, but it's not super strong on the back of my hand, which makes me feel better when I blend it out. It's not gonna be like that. Because I'm not oh, really big in the whole cream product thing. So I'm gonna put some on my cheeks and like cross my fingers <laughs> and hope that I don't just ruin all of this. But I'm gonna do it with my finger. Oh my God, that makes me so nervous. And I'm just gonna pounce it in. Okay. That's not crazy. So I love blush and I don't mind going like a little heavy with the blush. I just am nervous that like there's no turning back, you know? But I say that as I pile on more and more and more because that's just, yeah, see, now I'm super, mm, is that too much? Mm. That was a little much, but it still looks pretty. And honestly, I started my finger, so that's just what I'm gonna continue to do. But I feel like this might look really nice if I use like a beauty blender. So that's something to try out in the future, but it works well with your finger, if that's what you got. Or does it not work well? <laughs> do I look good or do I look crazy? I can't tell. I wanna get more into the cream face products, and I know I've said that before on my channel, but it's just really something that I don't have a lot of experience with at the moment. Um, so I'm excited to have this product, but it is gonna definitely take a little bit of learning for me. I think next time I will definitely use a beauty blender and give that a shot. And I like a little blush on my nose, so let's see how this looks. I like that. I think that that looks pretty. I think this would look really pretty if I didn't have any makeup on. Like I feel like for a no makeup day, just to give your cheeks a little flush and color, like if you're gonna go sit by the pool, I feel like this would look so pretty. So I'm excited about that. And I'm gonna use some on the lips too, so let's like give this the real test. You know what, I have foundation on my lips and normally I'll put my lipsticks right on over top of it, but I feel like for this kind of a product I should take it off. So let me wipe off my lips. There we go, that way we can get a true color show as well. So this is what my natural lips look like. I'm gonna put some on. I'm gonna put it on pretty heavy because I just like that. So I love the color and I will say it looks natural, but because it's that cream to powder feel, now it feels like I just powdered my lips, which is kind of weird, um, but it looks beautiful. It's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely a different feeling. It doesn't feel like lipstick. Um, it's not lipstick, but it, it definitely has a different feeling. So that is something to note. And then let's go in with the lip gloss. This is the Peach Pucker Lip Gloss. And it looks super cute. It's very like clear, um, just a hint of peach. So I, I doubt it will have much color to it, but let's put it on. I love the way this lip gloss looks. I feel like it is really glossy, like, much glossier than most of the lip glosses I have and use, but I will say it feels thick, thick. It feels really thick. So that is definitely something to think about if you're not that kind of a textural person, but it's super cute. I could see wearing it again. I feel like these are very like fresh face items I would wear to the beach, to the pool, just like no makeup makeup days. I feel like these would be perfect for that. So I definitely like them but I feel like maybe for my full glam, I might pick something else. 
And the last product is the product I am the most interested in, and that was the I Do Face, like, what is it called? Face gloss stick. It came in this cute little packaging. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just like watercolor kaleidoscopy looking packaging. And this was about $12. And it is so interesting to me because it is like a giant chapstick for your face <laughs> is what it seems like. They say you can put it over your eyeshadow for like an eye gloss. You could put it on, you know, your cheeks. You could put it on your lips kind of just said put it wherever for whatever, which is like weird to me. Um, but I am excited about it. I'm gonna use the back of my hand and I don't have any highlight on, so I'm gonna put this on the high points of my cheeks and just see what that does for me. I worry about these types of products like breaking up the foundation. So I don't really know, let's see. So you can already see like I look wet right there, but I will say this literally feels like I'm putting chapstick or Vaseline right on top of my face. So I actually really like the effect it's giving the skin, um, especially you know for like the subtle makeup days, I feel like that is actually a really incredible look and I could see how for pictures and stuff this could be really pretty because it doesn't have any color to it it's clear just like chapstick or Vaseline and it just gives the shine but you don't have to worry about getting that dark cast if it's not the right shade for you or you know it just doesn't look unnatural it looks literally like the most natural highlight you could ever have and I really thought I was gonna hate this I kind of bought it because I thought it was a little bit of a joke <laughs> but I really actually like that. Now, I don't know how this would survive a full day with makeup, um, but it didn't seem to really do anything as I dabbed it on. It really didn't break up the foundation or anything, but I do think this would probably serve the best on, like I said, kind of like everything else, a no makeup makeup day, going to the pool. I feel like this would really be the best there. I'm gonna swatch a little on the back of my hand just with the sticks, you guys can really see all the shine. Like, it just looks super wet. And it smells like chapstick too. <laughs> so it makes me feel like it's just chapstick. But I do like this. Also, with this kind of a texture, I, I worry about not only it breaking up the makeup, but it possibly breaking me out just in general. And that is definitely a concern. But it looks really pretty on the skin so far. So for first impressions, I like it, but only time will tell. But yeah, those are all the products that I got from the collection. And I wanna say overall, I give it two big thumbs up. I really didn't know how I was gonna feel about any of this because I don't really use cream products for the face. This is just like a plain old lip gloss and this was a really weird product. Um, this palette is incredible. I absolutely love it. I, like I said, I don't know what it is, but something about this color story and layout inspires me so much. I just love it. I love it. Really, I, I don't even know. It's just like, it's making me fall in love with makeup. Like I could, it's one of those palettes that I could just stare at for a while and just think about makeup and love it. So I, I am definitely excited. And I think everybody knows I do really enjoy Morphe's makeup. I don't think that they are the fanciest of fancy quality, um, but I think they are good quality. And they are really good quality for the price that they are. And I never have any issues, but you know, I don't feel luxurious when I use their products, but I think that their products are amazing and I definitely recommend them and I do not look down on them at all for being, you know, the affordable drugstore-esque kind of makeup. They are not, they are really good quality. And yeah, so overall, I love this. I feel like I am very pleasantly surprised with the whole collection, so. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.